Hey guys, we are live and it is Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and I'm just getting my music. This might be a little too chill for intro music. No, it's good. It's good. We're going to be we're going to be chill. It's Friday. Yay! It's Whip Trip Friday. Double yay. I got more stuff for future giveaways to show off. So, triple yay. Lots of good things today. Lots of cool things. We're also painting Kingdom Death. One of my favorite things to paint. So, let me see some There's nobody in chat somebody say something there's like I see I see eight people watching but that doesn't mean that they're actually watching so I'd like to hear from you in chat if you're there anyway yay Battledoor you get to be the first to say something and the subscribing subscribing comment is the first thing off the bat that is so cool <laughs> Jamie G's like something <laughs> 
Hi, Vatalur. Let's write down your name for being our first subscriber of the day. Hold on a second. I gotta move this big spider. Hold on. If you're nervous about spiders, this might not be the stream for you. Okay, there we go. Vata Lua and you are 61. That's a B. There we go. Thank you so much. Welcome. Spear. Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to go back to face. Real quick, I'm going to let the Kingdom Death group know that we are live today because they might even show up and hang out with us. I want to make sure that happens real quick. There we go, the Bind Lanterns Light. By the way, if you haven't joined Bind Lanterns Light, a Kingdom Death fan group, I'm an admin there. So if you want to go there, all you have to do is say, show she sent me and you'll get in. There's a little quiz at the beginning of, you know, to kind of keep bots out. And, you know, just tell them, show she sent me, you'll be in. Anyway, lots of people post the wonderful King Death artwork. It's a great game. There's, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Let's see here. Join me. There we go. I'm going to put admin approved. All of the, any Patreons, uh, Switch and Kickstarters have to be admin approved. Even myself. There we go. For whatever reason, my phone is not letting me tag Kingdom Death anymore on my business page. It's like weird. But well, maybe I'll write to them and we'll get that fixed. How is everybody? What are you doing? Did you guys put... Let me do... Hi, pun, expect, pun expected. Somebody do exclamation point whip trips. Hold on, I'll put this on the on the thing here. Do exclamation point whip trips. Is it whip trip or whip trips? I think it's whip trips. Try just whip trip and see what happens. Type that into chat and then let's see if it gives us a link to the to the Discord. Because today we are put. By the way, did you see this leg? We're gonna put that on. Um today we're going to look at people's stuff and see what they've been doing there we go it is whip trip yay i think that's the right one yay good 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 oh you know what i forgot to change the bot message this is me i'm so i'm so disorganized hold on let's see notice bear with me while i change the bot notice notice edit to Shoshi is painting spidicules. It's supposed to be like spider and ridiculous because it's a spidiculous. Spidicules from Kingdom Death. There we go. That should work. Notice edited. Awesome. Okay. Are we set? We're set. Now. I got this from a client. She would like to have it kind of mimicking a peacock spider. I don't know if you guys ever have seen or heard of a peacock spider. I'm going to show you some pictures in one second here. I show you. Do do. Okay, pictures. Here we go. This is peacock spider right there. And here's some more. This is paintings of various peacock spiders. And I really like this one a lot. And there was another one. Yeah, this was like a digital one. So is that all I have? Oh yeah, then this one is also digital. Actually, that one is probably closest to what she would like. So we may go with something similar to this. It's going to be interesting because really, if you look at the spiticules, it doesn't have, it's not a true spider. It's more like a daddy long legs. We, do, do you guys have in your countries, everybody has different words for this kind of spider. There's a, a kind of creature, and I don't remember what it's actually called. Hold on, I'm going to look this up. We call it a daddy long legs here, and it's not a true spider. It's a harvestman. You actually like the teal and orange too? Hi! Oh, winter tide. You did not have to do that. That is so sweet. Peacock spiders are adorable, but you don't trust them for spit. <laughs> 
Well, this is going to be like a peacock spider daddy long leg kind of character. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. And the, the other thing is that because it's it's got these eyes here, these eyes are very small compared to peacock spider. So we're going to find a way to make this look a little cute. I hope that Megan doesn't mind. When, let's write down winter first. Let's give some hype for winter. Winter tide. Wolf Studios. Oops. S T U D I O S. There we go. We had to go over the whip trips. How are you, winner? I saw that you texted, but I didn't look at it because I'm in the middle of streaming. But it's good to see you. Jamie says sweltering. Apparently, that will be my major endeavor for the next several days. Oh wow! Is it is it warm where you are? Sounds like it is sweltering. It's pretty warm here too. Oh, that's Megan. Okay, good. So, I have some questions for you, Megan. What do you think about... I've got some sculpting material, and it's if it's okay with you, I'd like to really do a little sculpting on this to make it look like more like the, the peacock spider's face. Because it's got such a cute face. Let's go back. Do you see this, this adorable face right there? I know some of you are going to be freaked out. Sneaky Tiny Small is going to be like, away, get away. See the little eyes? I'd like to I'd like to make, to sculpt over those eyes, if that's okay with you. If not, I totally understand. It's cool. Sounds good? Awesome. Excited. All right, so let's do that now, because it takes a minute for this stuff to cure. Actually, I'm going to use the black, because then I'll be able to see it a little bit better. Where is my black? Maybe I don't have it. Oh, by the way, I want to point out real quick. Oh, RiseDemp says design. Thank you for the follow. I really do appreciate follows and all the subscribings that people are doing. Check it out. I redid the gecko tank. And um, I don't know if you can't quite see it. It's too far away. But in on the right about here, there's a drainage layer that I added. And so... I am really hoping my plants don't die this time because I think I was overwatering them and maybe maybe giving them too much light. Hi, our uh, Rise of Design. How are you? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out. This is it's called Fix It, and we're gonna mix some of this together. Hello, Amberdin. How are you doing? Um, I had a little that I was going to use, and now it's not here. Ah. It's, it never fails, my sculpting tools disappear when I need them. Hold on. I'll use, a, I'll use an X-Acto, that'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to get out just a little bit of each of this. Hi, all right, backside. How are you? I haven't seen you in a few days. I hope that that means that you've been working, but maybe you've just been off doing other things. All right. You're having a heat wave come down from the Arctic. Yeah, that sounds like sounds like Illinois as well. I don't know if it's too bad, but. It's been warm here as well. Alright. Thankfully, we've been getting a little bit of rain. So the heat sometimes will cool us off. You know, it'll cool, rain will cool us off. Alright, so I have... I want to have equal parts. That's definitely not equal. So let's take out the excess. There we go. Awesome. Those look about the same. We're going to mix those together. Mystical unicorn painting. You came in with the wrong time. Okay, well, we're, we're just working on the sculpting part, so you can at least stay until we start working on it. Technically, this isn't a true spider, but I get I get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's quite the American spider. I used to be very, very, very phobic of spiders a long time ago. And then I managed to, and I, like I said, very phobic, to the point 
where I passed my phobia on to my daughter because I freaked her so I freaked her out so much. All right, this is really well mixed, and I can tell because it's getting very warm and soft, which is perfect. All right, I bought a bunch of these off of Amazon. Have you guys seen these? They're called Meaden. And that's cool because they have a little ball at the end and then the sculpting sculpting tools. They're all soft though. So I might have to figure something out. You have spider tattoos, Rysdom? Do you like spiders? I like I like the peacock spiders. I like the jumping spiders a lot too. But like I said, I've already cured myself of my spider phobia. All right, I'm gonna make several. We're gonna change the eyes on this creature so it's not quite as scary looking. You had a frustrating couple of days with technical issues with my prehistoric printer. <laughs> Amberton, is it a dot matrix? Is it that old? Does it have the long paper with the dots on the side of it? I kid, I kid. I'm sorry, I shouldn't tease you. Oh, you got a good deal on the laser. Oh, you probably get a new one when you see a good deal. Yeah, Black Friday is coming up in November. That's usually the best time to buy electronics, especially if you have Amazon. Backside says, I'm all right. Been doing bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, nothing too interesting. Worked on my bust a bit more. Yes, make sure that you guys do exclamation point whip trip today is whip trip friday i sure forgot to mention that whip trip friday so make sure that you put your pictures in the gallery somebody do exclamation point well one of the mods please do exclamation point whip trip so that we there we go thank you backside i'm gonna call you backside because all right backside is four syllables that's a lot <laughs> Wait, oh, chat just went, got busy. Give me a second here. Let me catch up. Mike says, these long legs are just effed up. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yes, I know. They are, they are a nope for a lot of people. And I, I apologize in advance because they're not going to be for everyone. So I need to make these just a little bit smaller. going to change the eyes quite a bit on this. How many eyes do spiders have? They have do they have eight? Hold on, now I have to count. Uh, four? I don't know. Let me look at this picture here. Four. I'm seeing four. Slots. See, I'm seeing four. One, two, three, four. But... And I apologize if you guys don't. I personally think that's super cute. He's got <laughs> he's got little arms up in the air like a cheerleader. See, I think it's all about changing. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys something. Bear had a dental. This is my cat Bear. He had a dental this week. Yesterday, actually, I took him to the dentist, and he was he was being a little drugged up yesterday. <laughs> Just a little drugged up. <laughs> He's trying to walk. He's like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, he was rubbing his face on everything. <laughs> but he's good. He only had one cat tooth that had to be pulled. <laughs> one tooth that had to be pulled. And that's actually pretty good because he's 10 years old. Oh, okay. So, f first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this little hole junk kitty a little bit yeah and he does not like the taste of his painkiller let me tell you that he is not happy with me when I give him that okay I miss some I miss some more Amber says we've been getting a lot of rain it was heavy okay the peacock spiders are the best 
Ah, uh, hi, Rizar VR. How are you doing? Sorry I missed that earlier. Spiders have eight eyes. Okay, that's good. I'm going to leave some of those eyes up there. This this spider has way more than eight. It has eight, nine, ten. So we're going to change all this up. First, I'm going to see how soft this is, but look at how nice it's, it smooths that material over right into those cracks where I want... Yep, yep, yep. See, we're going to cover up that mold line. Okay. Oops. A little extra. Oh, it's really... These are, these are really nice. Because it's so soft, it's almost like... It's almost like a brush, and I can really move this material around really nicely. Okay, good. And that will hide hide that weird hole that was in the middle of his head. <laughs> You're fine sculpting an orc here? Aw, oh, good. You have to post pictures of the orc in the, in the whip trip gallery, okay? I want to see it. Wintertide says, Did you know that each type of peacock spider has a different dance? I did not. Well, I'm not surprised, but I did not know that. The males dance for the females, and if the male doesn't dance well enough, she eats him. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting because this is supposed to be... Sp Spiticules is supposed to technically be female. It's such a weird monster. I guess in Kingdom Death... It could be anything, right? Let's pull that material over that crack. Pushing it. about this particular tool is that I can use the different sides to move around move around and smooth it's a, ch it's a chisel there we go, I can take your excess off there too perfect I don't want too much it's going to look blobby yay yay, oh my gosh I love this name Nerd House Minis, thank you for the follow. Hello. Oh, and hi. Hello. Oh my god, I'm looking at this guy on my desk right now. He's been staring at me for months and I can't figure out what to do with him. So we're about to paint. I'll show you Nerd House what we're going to do. The client, who is actually in our chat right now, helping out with suggestions. So first of all, we're going to change this, change the eyes. And we're going to do a peacock spider kind of look on him somehow. So I always love it when clients give me cool ideas. So we might figure that out. Also, um, I want to see what the client. Hold on one second. There was this one, this one that I like the best. I really like this one. What do you? Th the client's in the, in the chat. It's a uh, D A D A A L A. Is that how I say it? D A L A. Do you like this one? Because I can do a lot with this one. The next one is probably going to be that one. That one's harder because it doesn't have as many colors in the rest of the body to make all that go with it. So but what I like about this one is the browns go into the legs. Yeah, go for it. Awesome. Best clients, best clients give you a little creative freedom. Have I seen the Z Frank on the video? No, I haven't, Tevison. I'll have to look at that. That's funny. So if you haven't seen, there's a there's a guy on YouTube who makes these hilarious animal videos. They they really are hilarious. His name is Z Frank, and uh, you should check it out if you haven't already. But I didn't know he. I guess I knew, did. I know he had a spider video. I don't think I did.
Also, can you see how the there's a line right here? There's a line right here in the mouth. I gotta make sure to fill that as well, but not too much. Because I don't wanna cut I don't wanna cover up the there we go, that's perfect. I just wanna fill it so it doesn't look like there's a split. dry one because I, I don't know if you saw but I had gotten the end of the first tool wet and so this one is dry I'm trying to keep it dry too so hold on a second here so I don't know how quickly it will cure or if it's all slimy all right that already looks a zillion times better Squash spider scheme. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> when, okay, just without triggering you, did, when did you first realize that you didn't like spiders? When I when I was a kid, I saw one in my basement, and that was what did it for me. But I, like I said, I, I cured myself of it when I got when I was an adult. I was managed to cure myself of my no longer fear. I'm still afraid of bees. I'm afraid of bees and wasps. And so, it's funny. Any, any animals that, like, sting. Yeah, stinging insects I don't like. I'm not afraid of spiders anymore. Second my suggestion. <laughs> Miss school. Oh! Sounds like my mic escaped. Just hold on a second. Let me check. Test, test, test. Okay. My mic escaped. Let me know if sometimes things come unplugged a little bit. Because I've got... Hold on. Let me check. Yeah. Sometimes this little, this little thing comes unplugged. Oh, I fixed it. It was away from my face. Okay. Yeah. Just say Mike. There's a whole there's a whole command for it actually, because <laughs> this happens enough on this channel. Uh, that's my fault. But just do exclamation point Mike. There you go. Yeah, exactly. All right, backside. <laughs> Perfect. I think there's another one for off cam too. Do exclamation point off cam. I think that's another command that we have for the channel. Which, that's harder with this model because, yeah, exactly, there we go. I think Lamunus made those commands. Um, that command is a little bit harder because this model is so big, but we can, actually, you know what? I think I can adjust this. Bear with me one second. It's, I think it's glasses off, exclamation point glasses off. There we go, let's do this. See if I can tighten that. Yes. All right. That's good. Now you can see a lot more stuff. Yay. Do exclamation point commands. There is. Yeah. Sneaks into lurk. All right. You have a good rest of your day, Winter. I'm so glad I got to see you for a little bit. There you go. Those are all my commands. Write those down. <laughs> and it's, yeah, Mike, not Mike. <laughs> exactly. I know, yeah. And if you know how to, 
a moderator should be able to know should be able to create a command if you, if we end up needing one but i don't know i don't i don't know how to do that is it in there <laughs> oh you had one fall in your face yeah that would be traumatizing definitely definitely i think mine was real similar to that mike I had I didn't have one fall on me, but I had one like appear out of nowhere and just the surprise alone was enough. How do I ship something like this without snapping the legs? So I have a large box and then I support all the legs row. I, I don't know if you saw this, but actually one did one did break in shipping and I'm going to pin it. In fact, I've already drilled out the holes and I'm going to show you how I'm going to pin this so that hopefully it won't snap off after it's already been. Um, so here's a paper clip that I stretched out. We're going to make a pin. Oh, that one has paint on it. Hold on a second. Um, yeah, let's clip this painted part off. We want the pin to be straight, straight-ish. Oh, that's the wrong clippers. Yeah, that's the wrong clippers. This, these are the red grass games clippers. Don't try to clip metal with these because they're they're not meant for metal. They're meant for sprue plastic, which is a completely different. This, these are made for metal. They're a lot cheaper and stronger. Hopefully, maybe met, maybe meant for metal. Hold on. There. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, I first I need to super glue. I've got super glue, and I'm going to put a little bit in the... I already drilled a hole out in the leg. Okay. And then we'll put, this pin, put the pin in. Uh-oh, did I drill the hole big enough? I might not have. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Might have to redrill that hole. Let's see if this yeah that's a big enough bit you got to make sure the yeah that's make sure that's big enough i think that'll work let's try this again could just be also the angle that i put it in nope Cat hair? Did, where do you see cat hair? What did I mean? Oh, you're just doing, you're just playing with the, <laughs> you're just playing with the commands. That's funny. The cat hair command is pretty cute, though. All right. Ping, it flies over to the cross room, never to be seen again. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. That is, why is it not wanting to go in? Okay, I'm going to get a different drill bit, because that is my first problem. Let's find a larger drill bit that is about the same size. Here's, I'm going to show you how I try to match drill bits. Oh, wait, these are, yeah, some of these are nice, nice sized. There's a whole whole different, look at this, different sizes. Some of them are too big. All right, so I try to take my paper clip and I try to find a bit that is kind of close. This one looks kind of close. And I want it just a smidge bigger than my paper clip, which that looks about the same size. So let's do that one. That one looks a little bit bigger than the paper clip. See, a little bit. Okay, that's the one we're gonna use. These rests can go in here. One millimeter, I think you're right. Cause they are paper clips, right? So I think paper clips are all standard size. Let's see. I'm gonna keep this one out just in case. Cause I feel like that might be... When you're drilling, sometimes it's better to have a small one to do a pilot hole. Yeah, this one is definitely smaller than both of those. Let's try the next size up. 
I don't think I need the giant one yet. So what have you been... Guys, don't forget to put your stuff in the whip trip gallery. There we go. Okay. Whoops. Alright, tighten that. Oh yeah, perfect. There's a fly in my basement and it just hit me in the eyebrow. That's probably going to come back. Okay. Oh, can you see I'm almost about to drill through the side. So I'm going to take that out. Okay, now, if this doesn't go in, I don't know what's going to happen. There we go. All right, that's going to have to work. You should check to see if your stuff is uploaded. Okay. Super glue. I think that might be the other problem is that I did put super glue in there first. Okay. Now. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess super glue. Quite a bit, actually. I need to actually scrape. Some of that super glue off. And the reason the reason I want to scrape that super glue off the top of that is because we're gonna use some um, liquid cement, some of this stuff. I I got some more of this. Sorry about that. That fly went straight at my face again. Alright, little spotted eggs. Okay, I'm gonna clip this. These are my good clippers. Let's clip this right here. I just want it short. There. Now I can throw that back in my desk. Right here we've got the pilot hole already started. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Drilling, drilling, drilling. All right, now let's see if that fits. It's not, you can see it's not, it's not deep enough. So there's two things we can do. We can drill it more or we can cut it. I think I'll drill it more. So it's not a shallow. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta be careful not to drill a hole through the plastic. Okay, now let's try it. Oops. Yep, they're perfect. All right, that's awesome. So, um, I think I will. I'm debating on whether I should use this model. Oh, you know what? I see what you're saying. There is a cat here. All right. So this is Model Master. This is the kind of liquid cement that I really like to use. Um, I got this on Amazon, but you can get it at a lot of different hobby stores. It comes with these little things that you can unplug. I like that. It's got two of those. I always save those. Because the little... Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah. You want the one... So there are two different ones that they made. You want the one with the metal needle. Because in the past, I've bought the one with the plastic needle. And it ends up melting. It melted big time. So that's the one that you want. Alright, and I'm just going to put a little drop. Just a little bit. I'm going to put on one, both sides here so that both sides soften, soften a little bit. There we go. You can also use this to fill small mold lines too, which we're going to do that in a minute as well. All right, now we can put this on. Any excess that comes out, just wipe that away. There we go. 
And what happens is this will melt, melt the plastic and it will Perfect. Okay. It will make it stick together. That's my goal. How does Kingdom Death Plastic compare to GW in terms of hardness? I'd say it's the same. It, and somebody might, might be able to argue that with me, but I feel like it's the same. Because it looks like a lot of effort with a little result. A lot of effort with a little result. No, I'd say it's the same. I'd say it's the same. I think... I think it's made in the same the same inje injection plastic that um, GW has. It's it doesn't feel any softer or harder. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put that away. Have you have you had uh, any of the GW or the uh, not the GW plastic, but the Kingdom Death plastics before? Uh, for some reason, I thought you had already. Put those together. Okay, my little eyeballs are rolling all over the place. All right, he's got another line on his face here. We're gonna listen to some Japanese metal while we groove out. Doo -doo. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I like this material better than green stuff by like a million because it doesn't it doesn't shrink. You can sand it. You can do everything you need. Okay. Uh oh, something just fell off. What just fell off? Bear with me one second. I gotta look on the floor. I think. Hold on. What did I drop? Ah, yeah, these things fall off all the time. So, Spiticules has these little, like, tentacle things. I don't know what they are, but they, they break off all the time. And they're very difficult to, to stick on. Yep, it goes right there. We'll probably have to pin that on as well. We'll see. He's a, he's a troublesome, problematic model. Rebel Star Raider says, yeah, I'd say they're about the same. Cadian plastic is much nicer to work with than, than their resin or their 3D printed. I agree. I think the plastic is the best of the three. Now you get a lot more, you get a lot more detail. I'm using this end of the tool to press that into that crevice. And then any excess I can kind of I can move out of the way here. Just a little water. Water just smooths it out. It's like it's like middle millipa in that way that you can just kind of smooth it. There we go. ready for the eyeballs. Let's do the big eyes first. I'm just going to cover it. Actually, I need my picture. I need my picture of my spider. Okay, hold on a second. This is the one I'm going to use. And it's like very close together. So, yeah, we'll do that first. this over the eye. And then I'm going to use this smoother, this tool right here. Just smooth this down over the top of the surface. Do 
just to make it more like cabochon shaped. There we go. I feel like it's gonna make it less scary. I think that'll be good. These are the two biggest parts of the eyes. Oops. Put some more water on there. Just gonna push this shape it clay shaper. There we go. Perfect. Oh, he's so cute, actually. <laughs> you guys are not gonna like this, are you? You don't like spiders. My mic has no sound, does it? Absolutionist. My mic has no sound. Yep. I hear it now. Do you I hear it? Oh, you hear it? It's just quiet. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can turn it up. Man. Test, test. Can you hear me now? It's a little bit loud. I see you guys spamming it. Now I'm fine. It's always when I look up, I'm fine. Right? Alright, it's probably because my mic was not by my mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna get another tool. I've got a whole little pack of these tools. Where's the other four? Hmm. Hey there. These are the ones I needed. Let's do, ooh, this one's perfect because it's it's got a rounded side. Okay. Yeah, that lets me, oh yeah, that lets me get the edges rounded better. See, there's a tool for everything. Now it feels better. Let's do the smaller eyes. Let's see if I got both of them here. Let's do this one over here. Now let me ask you think let me ask you guys, what do you think? I should do about all these extra eyes. We should maybe, should we get rid of them? Should we sculpt over them? Make sure this is close enough. There we go. I like it. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna cover some of these other eyes. So I've got extra material here. You said that they have eight eyes. Spiders have eight eyes. All spiders have eight eyes. Okay, I need smaller pieces of clay for this. Rizar says most spiders have eight eyes in a different combinations or shapes, so we'll not be wrong. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well, either way, we're going to cover up some of these extra eye blobs with the material. We'll just 
tell you what, let's move this over. We'll just make this as flat as possible and then it'll go into the go into the extra excess. Oop. Yeah, yes, we'll use the same thing. Rizar is our shape. He's our sculptor here. He knows way more than me about sculpting and stuff. And I'm just winging it. You know, sometimes you gotta just be brave because you can have some cool results. I, I have enough confidence in my sculpting abilities to at least cover stuff up. I think I can definitely do that. And he's got all these little wrinkles so we can use this end to try to kind of draw in draw in those little wrinkles again make it make it a little bit deep and then we can round it off with the edge here maybe 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 Yeah, that actually worked. Haha. -ha. I want to separate that eye right there. And I have a bad habit of getting fingerprints. So I'm going to go in here with this tool and s buff out the fingerprints because those will show up with paint on them for sure. Oh good, Rizar sent me a um, link. Thank you. Okay. How many spy eyes do spiders have? Oh cool, that's so cute. Spider eye counting. Oh, there's hunting spiders and weaving spiders. Okay. It's interesting how they figure out how the eyes line up. So we, for, for us, we've got four here. Maybe we could make four small ones. Let's, let's keep working on the eyes and see. Oh, so they're called, okay, in the middle of the head, they are called anteromedian eyes, and the sides of the head are anterolateral. That's for the first row. Oh, okay, so those two are anteromedian, and these two are anterolateral. And then there's a second row of eyes, posteromedian and posterolateral. Fancy, I love that. We love science. Science. Hi, Inky John. How are you? You think there's some that have six eyes, but those are rare exceptions. Yeah. This uh, this guy is gonna he's gonna have eight, but I'm gonna figure out everything first. I gotta I gotta sculpt off the the old stuff first. Thank you for following, uh, Sir Jetos Jet I think that's how I say it. I'm not sure how I say your name. Feel free to say hi in chat and tell me how to pronounce your name. Inky says, it, I'm glad it's a weekend. Yeah. So I want to talk for a second about what is normally my favorite holiday. My favorite holiday of all time is 4th of July. This year is a little different. I mean, you guys, you guys kind of know stuff's going on in the U.S. where, you know, a lot of human rights... Um, action is going on and I am all for human rights and it feels a little feels a little weird to celebrate freedom right now because I don't really feel like it's true for everyone so I am 
I'm going to acknowledge Independence Day by acknowledging that there is not independence for everyone at this time. That is how I'm going to to observe it, which is is a very American thing. I think, you know, Americans, uh, we believe in that as, as a whole, I, I like to think. Maybe not as a whole, maybe as a subgroup, I don't know. All right, there we go. I'm just trying to smooth stuff more. Personally believe in freedom for all. That, that I can say. Anyway, it is my favorite. I'm gonna be a little bit more thoughtful this year. A little bit more introspective about how I can maybe make things better on my end. All right, I'm gonna s try to get this smooth. There we go. I'm giving him like a little bit of a eyebrow wrinkle get groove here. There we go. Oops. All right, <laughs> he looks completely different, doesn't he? He does need those posterior eyes, though. Those second set of eyes. Let's do that. <laughs> Kink for mini painting. Hey, Marza Cat. <laughs> Ultra Crit Squid. Jumping spiders have two to four large front facing eyes for stereoscopic vision, with the rest placed elsewhere around the head. Lots of different configurations. Okay. It's creepier than the Bloody Bee. It's both, yeah, he's supposed to be, I think. He is <laughs> the Bloody Bee. <laughs> he is creepier than the Bloody Bee. The Bloody Bee was a creepy baby, though. up here because I'm just gonna put them up there I don't really know enough about spider eyes to be completely anatomically correct here not like this is a, an anatomically correct spider in the first place considering it's not truly a spider I'm gonna put one there yep this is the right size and not wanting to stick to itself a little bit. Rizar, do you have any advice for smoothing? Because I'm finding I'm having a little struggle with the smoothing part of it. It's, maybe it's because it's still wet. You know what? This is pointed. There we go. Now we're smoothing it. Let's get this little eyebrow going here. This is a, one reason why I don't sculpt is because I don't have the attention to detail or patience for it, but I'm I'm really trying here. Get this right. So hopefully that'll start curing. Alright, one more thing. Am I modding it? I am, Inky. We're making it look so we're gonna make it look like a peacock spider. They're 
I believe they're Australian. And this is what we're going to make him look more like that. Although, since it's technically not a spider because it doesn't have a um, abdomen or a thorax, it only, it's like it's just a head and eight legs. So it's more like a daddy long leg, which does anybody know what that's called? It is an epoxy putty. Yes, petroleum jelly is nice for smoothing, but you have to clean it really nice before painting. Hmm. I have some petroleum jelly somewhere. Green Stuff World makes it in a can. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for now, I think. <laughs> it is a cute spider. That's what I'm saying. Most of the spider people who are afraid of them and don't like it. <laughs> Do you think that this spider, Inky John, is... This one is creepy um, by itself? Or do you think it's creepy because of the way I modded it? Does that make sense? Did you get to see it when we had... When it had all these different eyes on it? Ah, I keep making new lines. New lines I don't want. Well, I always have this rule. If you make a mistake, try to make it look like you did it on purpose. So we'll just add another little wrinkle in here. On purpose. And another one on the other side. So there we have two on purpose. starting to cure which is awesome because that means it's starting to get firmer and not as difficult to work with or sometimes the opposite but all right we're gonna make these some little bitty eyes i'm gonna roll these into little equal spheres yipes All right, we had a few things back here. We were gonna do. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Um, to keep this safe for Twitch, because this is a Kingdom Death model, and it has anatomy that you don't need to be seeing on a family-friendly show. We're gonna cover a good chunk of this. And then we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> we have to cover up the spider bits. Who knew that I would be saying that? And I just said we're not going to talk about it. So I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Peafowl spider is sort of a jumping spider. Yeah, ultra squid. This is a, this is an actual... Um, this is going to be... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's anatomy you don't want to see on a spider. I know! <laughs> exactly, Devastin. Thank you for following MechPree Studios. I appreciate the follow. Welcome. Say something in chat. Say hello. This is more like a mite than a spider. Not having clear division between a cephalo, thorax, and abdomen. Ultra squid... I love that you know about this stuff. Tell me, do you know about Daddy Long Legs? I don't know what country you live in. Hi, Echo Side. But if you know about Daddy Long Legs, it's, this is re reminds me of a Daddy Long Leg, which I was never afraid of because they don't, there's, apparently their mandibles are so small they can't bite you. I know, Mike. I know. He's like, 
how much of this is my sculpting just the little just a little bit of face right there we're just making it so it looks like a more of a true spider face spider face spider face spider face <laughs> You have lots of daddy long legs in your house. Do you know the technical name for daddy long legs? That's what I was looking for before we started here. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up because I've been asking this for a minute. Daddy long legs. Legs not a spider is what I'm gonna look up. Actually, it's not a, a rack. Okay, yep. Yeah. So. They are also arachnids. Okay, so let's see what this says. This is a myth. Okay, myth bashing. Are daddy long legs spiders? Yes and no. It turns out that somebody wasn't creative when naming the critter, and it can lead to a lot of confusion. Okay, so it's a, not a spider. Critters are most likely referred to as daddy long legs or not spiders. They're opilions. Opilions known as harvestmen. They're also arachnids, but they're closely related to scorpions than spiders. A few, di di few characteristics differentiate opilions from spiders. For starters, they, have, they just have two eyes, and they cannot produce silk, and therefore cannot make webs, and they also lack ven venom glands. That's interesting. How do they hunt? Uh, spiders have two distinct bodies. You guys don't mind this little science lesson here, do you? Because I am fascinated. Oh my god, their eyes are so small. They're just at the top of their head. Opilions have a small oval compact shape, oval shaped body. Looks like one segment, but they actually are abdomen fused together with the cephalothorax. So that you, the joint is hard to see. Well, that's cool. That's probably what makes them able to be classified as an arachnid. Okay, they're also called cellar spiders. Oh, but... Oh, no, no, no. So, sorry. The cellar spider is, like, confused with the daddy long legs. It's different. Okay. Very different. This is, like... This is more like an opilion. That's interesting. I did not know all that science. Exactly. I like science, too. You all for it? <laughs> and we just got a new follow, Captain Smashy Pants. Can I say that? I love... So, first of all, I'm from the Midwest. And in certain parts of the Midwest, we, we flatten our A's. So you've got three A's in your name. Captain Smashy Pants is how I want to say it. Captain Smashy Pants. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> So cute. We flatten our A's. <laughs> sounds ace to me. Good. Yeah, it sounds ace. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you so much for following. I love it. Is anybody here? Is anybody else here from the Midwest? You could be anywhere in the Midwest. You are? Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Diela. Diela. <laughs> Echo side is also. Yay. Ultra Squid says, but this is a fantasy monster and it can be more than one thing. And absolutely. And it's, it has a nose. <laughs> it has hands. It has monster hands as well. And it has anatomy that we cannot speak about. It has unspeakable. In it. Oh, no. You know what? I might have to just super glue this. It's being annoying. In fact, I will do that. Sometimes super glue. You can shorten it to D, D. Can I just say, is it D A? Dia? Dia. There we go. We'll say Dia. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be better with the super glue. Let's get a little bit of. It is a gamer tag. Ah, that makes sense. What was my first gamer tag? My first gamer tag was Meep. Like M E E P. Meep. Because cuz you okay, does anybody remember the game with Yoshi? 
the the NES game Yoshi the dragon he would say show he would say Yoshi meep right but I'm Shoshi so meep was one of my first gamer tags and I cannot I might have to put some product on that hold on a second I'm gonna get my fix it I have a product I have a product for everything stuff is insta set okay do do Yoshi for the win <laughs> yeah that's how I would teach people to pronounce my name I'd say you know Yoshi and almost everybody who I knew because I am friends with gamers knew who Yoshi was all right let's try this there we go Okay, that, that is Insta Set and it works really great. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna use it on the bottom of here. Do, 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 where'd it go? There's a little spot right here. And then this little hangy down part. I'm gonna have to hold that there for a second. Hi! The Ladande. How are you? You didn't know the spider had private parts? Thought it was a, sp a spinneret? Yeah. It's a kingdom death model. It it could be a spinneret, but it's probably not. Ah! I'm just filling stuff. Alright. In fact, you know what? Okay, so w instead of trying to hold it, I'm going to put the drop of the glue there. While that's so many legs. <laughs> Oy vey. Now, where did the little pipette go? This this is gonna get the drop of cure all on there. I'll stick that on right there. Perfect. Now what that'll do is I'll hopefully that will cure very quickly. Carlos AF Garcia! Hello! That thing is a nightmare fuel, like most Kingdom Death monsters. Okay, so that sticks. I just noticed that this is a, a piece that already broke off. I cannot go back and fix that, unfortunately, and I don't know where the original piece is. <sighs> okay, I think right, there was one more thing I was going to do. I was going to fill in this, but I'm not going to use this material. I'm going to attempt to use the model glue instead. Yeah, it is fun. So this is nice because model glue will fill the cracks pretty good. And it acts like a... Hold on, I have to take glasses off. Well, what will happen is it will cure on its own. Because it's just a small amount of it will fill in these gaps. But it can't be a huge gap. But it's a way faster. These are all the tricks that I use that I'm sharing with you guys so that you don't have to go through a lot of hassle if you don't want to. Alright, over under his chin, he's got a little bit of a gap on the side of his head again. If it's a, if it's a big gap, go ahead and fill it because the glue might not, might not work. But for these smaller ones, it's perfect. Okay. See, and you can already tell over here, you can see where the plastic has softened. 
and it's already filling in that gap pretty nice. Some people go to the trouble with a bigger gap and they'll shave pieces of sprue and they'll melt it into the crack and then sand it and that's just a whole nother level. Do you know what I mean? But uh, people do do that. Whoa. Almost, almost ready here. I think we're all set to begin to airbrush. What's great about this material, now you have to be careful because once you prime it, it will be soft still, but it will, it will continue to cure under the primer. That's another thing that is also a speeding up technique. Okay. Yeah, it's plastic glue and it will kind of soften the plastic and hide those small mold line gaps. Exactly. Hi, Ailey. How are you? Marzi Cat says, Miniac on YouTube all uses old plastic sprues and that kind of glue. Yes, and that's exactly what I was talking about. I've never tried it though. He makes a gap filling slurry and it's very stringy. Oh, cool, huh? That's a cool idea. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that. Now, this is how I, this is how I speed paint these guys. I'm going to go get a piece of cardboard. Hold on, where's my Exacto blade? Can I use my Exacto blade? Here, I have a piece of cardboard. Actually, while I have you guys here, I'm going to show you some of the giveaways. Now, this, look at this hair. Um. Got my creature caster giveaways for probably it won't be until August that we'll do this giveaway. We might do it sooner, but we would need to get more, again, more shipping donations. So um, if you want, I can put a shipping donation and we can give this away sooner. Otherwise, we'll do this in August. More paints. I think these are the transparent paints. Let me see. Yep, these are the sets of transparent paints. There are four, or sorry, eight total. So that is one of the giveaways. And you guys know I love these transparent paints so much. What is a shipping donation? So um, I ship worldwide for my donations and generally we need about a $25 donation to be able to ensure that we can send something like this anywhere in the world. 25 if it's bigger than this it needs to be a little bit more like 35 usually I can send anything anywhere for 35 even Australia um, The reason why I have to uh, basically crowdfund the donations is because I'm a business and I don't have the resources to um, Fund all the donations myself. So but I can't I can't ask the person who won to pay for shipping themselves because then it becomes a raffle and I don't have a license in my country or my state to do raffles. So if we want to do it, it has to be a pure giveaway. So what I do is I ask for donations for shipping. Here's another thing that we're going to be doing as a giveaway. This Maybe we'll do this one as a follower giveaway. You guys let me know in the comments whether you think this should be a follower or a subscriber giveaway. But this is... And it's extra large. Is it extra large? Extra large. I should have gotten 2x. Extra large creature caster t shirt. Isn't that nice? And I guess if somebody needs a different size, I can get that for you. So, but we have an extra large on hand. So, but what, what do you think? Do you think this should be a subscriber giveaway or a follower giveaway? Follower? I thought so too. Follower giveaway. Yes, Creature Caster is my sponsor. We love them. Okay. I thought that would be in a, a different kind of giveaway. We don't usually give away t-shirts, so that's cool. That's kind of cool. And then this is also nice. We've got the Lady of Chaos model set. Um, and we've got a set 
of the Bombwick brushes. There are, how many brushes are in here? Five? These are the Igniter 3s. I think there's five brushes. Nope, four. There's a one, a two, a three, a four, and a zero. Yep. But So we got a set of brushes. That one we can make. Maybe we can put brushes and paints together for subscribers. And we'll do t-shirt for followers. That sounds good. That can be for August. Or if we get more donations for shipping, we can do that sooner. What happened to my music? Hold on. Make sure it's still going. There it goes. Now this is the screamy song. Oh, Anonymous tipped $35. You want to do this now? Shall we do this now? Shall we do... <laughs> this is good This is good hype music. Let's get some hype. If you want to do a giveaway right now, we just got enough money. We can donate worldwide. We could do the t-shirt. Does that sound good? Okay, yeah, I want to see hype. I want to see hype because this is an off my normal schedule of giveaways. We just happen to have a lot of things to give away. Hype! <laughs> Alright, we'll do a whole follower giveaway for the t-shirt. If you are not in a size extra large, just message me with your info once you win and we'll figure out we'll figure out what size you need and we'll get that to you. Okay. We'll jam to the song while we've set up the giveaway. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> okay. You guys seemed like you're having a really good time and I'm excited for you guys. All right, complete. This will be the third follower giveaway that I have done. Third follower giveaway that I have done this month. That is a lot. That is a lot, but you guys are so generous, and uh, and this, you know, I got extra, so might as well, right? Okay, merch, custom. Here we go. I'm gonna edit this. I like follower giveaways because literally anybody who is following me can win. You do have to be present to win. That is the caveat. Okay. You have to be present to win. So let's see. We'll, we'll pick one winner. Whoops. One winner will be chosen to win one extra large t shirt. Extra large t shirt. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. It'll be any size. Any size. There we go. So you'll be able to tell me. Any size t shirt. Whoops, maybe I can't. Here we go. I have to delete this. One t-shirt. From Creature Caster. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys, so I'm in the Creature Caster program. I am sponsored by them. And one of the things that they're doing a lot lately is they're really talking to their creators and getting to getting feedback from them. And I've got some things in the pipeline with them that are really exciting. And so I, I am very happy to be sponsored by Creature Caster as a company because they really like not only do they really listen to their people who are sponsored by them, but they I really like their their kind of ethos and their 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 model. All right, one T-shirt. I'm gonna save this. It is 3:52 right now. We're gonna we're gonna have this go until it's almost four. We'll have this go for 45 minutes. Okay. So we're gonna start the whip trip at five o'clock. So yeah, that'll be perfect. So we'll do 45 minutes of 45 minutes of giveaway time. So that gives everybody a chance to join in. All right, you, you must be present to win. Okay. And all right, we're gonna go ahead. 
start to give away weight. There we go. All right, we're back to chill music. It's so funny. Okay, 45 minutes. One win one winners. <laughs> one winners will be chosen to win one t-shirt from Creature Caster. Must be present to win. The raffle has started for viewers. Use exclamation point raffle to enter the raffle. That last song had you focused. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that song, I like it. It's got a good screamy beat to it. Wapelius, hello. How are you? Check this out, Wapelius. We are doing spiticules from Creature Caster. Hold on a second. Not Creature Caster. Ah, Kingdom Death. We sculpted some crazy spider eyes on him to make him a little bit different. And we're getting ready to do some priming on him. Sounds cool, huh? All right. By the way, I just want to thank again Anonymous Donor for donating that shipping money so that we can do this giveaway because that is really awesome of you and you are cool. And and I think that the stream, the stream really appreciates that kind of stuff. Don't you stream? Show your appreciation. Show your appreciation. <laughs> Big googly eyed spider. Yes. Yep. 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 Okay. I'm putting gloves on right now, as you can see. <laughs> now we're gonna turn on the airbrush and we're gonna I'm gonna use my older airbrush yeah there's your appreciation awesome I want to see that this is a newer airbrush I don't want to mess it up so I'm gonna switch it out and use one that's not as let's see I'm gummed up do I have one that already has a switch out valve I do haha -ha. I think this will work all right, bear with me. It's going to take a second. I have these um, cool little switch outs that make it easy to switch these in and out. Come on. There we go. Push that down there. Whoop. Yeah, thanks again, Anonymous. We really appreciate that. There we go. All right, this one is a little bit gummy still. I wonder if it's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't. Oh, no. Did I leave paint? I did. Don't forget to enter the raffle. If you are a follower, anybody can enter. Subscribers get two. Subscribers get two tickets. Okay, this is not coming out. Oh, oh I'm an idiot. Look at this. I am a total idiot. All right, let's see if we can get this. I'm going to have to use this stuff called Paint Killer. Does it have sound now? Test, test. I don't know what is going on with my mic. Do you guys want to see if I can try my other mic? Maybe my other mic will work. It has now? Okay. All right. Sometimes it comes a little bit, it gets a little bit loose. I'm sorry. Anyway, 
back to the mask. Everybody wear a mask whenever you airbrush. It's always a good idea, especially with toxic stuff like this painkiller. All right. Hang on one second. I'm in, for a minute, I'm not, you're not going to be able to hear me because i got to take my mic off. ideal but you can hear me right okay Whew. and I, that was a big mistake to try to blow this through I'm gonna use my dump pot instead because that will be less caustic much better I sound like Darth Vader that is often the case with this with this particular setup I am um, I also look like Bane Right? I look like Bane. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get the black the black primer and give it a shaky shake. Okay. And then, um, so I already have the killer in there, so I don't think I need to use any thinner right off the bat. So I'm just gonna put some of that in there. Let's move this over here. Put these little buggies. I got six of these little little dudes. And I always have a paper towel handy because I usually test it out. Way cooler than Bane. Yeah, good. <laughs> Move the tools. We don't need to airbrush tools. Ah. I end, I'll end up with like airbrush all over them. Okay. Much better. And the super new cap. What do they call this? Desk hygiene. My desk hygiene is horrendous. Do you guys have good or bad desk hygiene? Okay, ready? I'm gonna give it a little spray on my paper. Oh, do you guys see that? That's very, that's probably because of the paint killer, to be honest. Let's spray it here first. Let's make sure we get, we want it to be smooth like that and not all full of weird paint. There, smooth and soft. All right, let's start with this face. Ah! It's going to look creepier now that I've got definitely bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mystical unicorn. I know everybody who hates spiders is going to hate this one. I should have put a I should have put a content warning. <laughs> who depends on who you ask. Your why oh yours oh yeah, your your hygiene is bad. Alright, I've gotta take off the little piece of silly putty so that I can actually paint it. I'm gonna paint this black right away so you won't see it. There we go. It's not as noticeable when it's black. Painting up very fast, which is very nice. And it also means it's gonna be wet for a little bit. Nice spider, awesome. <laughs> it's kingdom death. Technically it's an o opidia opi what do we call it? Opidi opi opidillion. I think that's what it's called. inside so it's got that little 
Uh oh, am I running out? I'm running out. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put this down. Your desk is it's just random bullshit. <laughs> Leanne, I understand. So is mine. Don't feel bad. I, there are pilers and there are filers, and I am a piler. Like, I have organized chaos, right? And I think kind of that's how creative minds often work, so I, I don't feel bad. Everybody watching, please enter the giveaway. We can ship it anywhere in the world. And just enter exclamation point raffle to be entered into the raffle. There's the creepy hands. Oh, look at that. That's funny. I like that. There you go. Don't forget. Yep. Subscribers get two tickets. A little extra Benny. Um, in case I had, in case you weren't here, oh, his foot is in the water. Get out of the water. Um, I wanted to tell you guys I'm having 10 new emotes designed because subscribers are going to be getting, subscribers tier 2 and 3 are each going to get 4 new emotes each, I believe. So I ha I'm having 10 emotes designed. And uh, subscribers tier two and three are getting uh, extra emotes, which is really nice. Twitch, Twitch opened that up for partners. I don't know if it is for everyone, but partners get those extra emote slots for their tier two and three. So that is coming. We'll see what happens when that happens. Oh, and more paint. Oh. Sometimes there's a little clog. SJC Theos, how are you? Thank you so much for the follow. Hello, say something in chat. Welcome. Feel free to join the party. We're just priming up Spidiculous. Spidiculous is ridiculous. He's, he's a spider. He's Spidiculous. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It, it looks really bad on camera, doesn't it? If you're a spider person, if you don't like spiders. Uh-oh. Running out again. There's, this one takes a lot of primer. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna check out over here. Get some more. Okay, here we go. I can have a cup half full. That way I don't end up wasting primer if I don't use it all. Huge pain, yeah, I agree. Spider sits at the top of the KD display case at staring at her game table. Yeah, it's it's gonna be cool. I think you're gonna really like what we do. He's so spindly. I think he looks really good with the black, although. It does make him look a little smaller when he's painted just black, plain black. Alright, let's try this upside down deal. So you guys can see a little better. I'm gonna flip that over. Alright. Now just imagine the spider is dead and he's not gonna come get you. I'm sorry guys. 
what his name. Uh oh. We're going through a lot of primer. That's good though. You really did not enjoy painting Spidiculous. You should have left it in parts. Oh. Would you have mag- I tried magnetizing Spidiculous, pun expected, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out how to magnetize it in a way that works. So. Yeah, but I agree that transporting it is big, so. Where do you take your- do, do you take your Kingdom Death? I can't take my Kingdom Death game outside of my house because the one time that I did, a dog got a hold of one of the cards and chewed it up. And what happens when that happens is you cannot get those easily replaced. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, nope, not anymore. Oh gosh, the wigglies, the wiggly legs. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. You play a local game store, you don't have a table big enough. Okay, well that makes sense, I get that. I would be very, um, at least if it's a game store and not at someone else's house where a dog can come along, like it did in my case. That was really nightmarish. It was almost more scary than Kingdom Death games, you know? So many! Almost done here. Getting closer to being done with the priming. Oh my goodness. It's like just when you think you're done, you find another lid that needs a whole layer of paint. Maybe I was only done with one side. Okay. That. Mm, still not done. I'm trying to find a, a, a dry place to hold on to. I think we're finally done. Let's go ahead and get those. These really weird little knees are so strange. Alright, I'm gonna take that away. Creepy, creepy! Oh, I just got paint all over the back of my hand. You gave up bringing this ridiculous, though. I didn't like the way the expansion plays out. How- so... Does anybody care if I hear some spoilers about the Spidiculous game? Because I'm really curious how that plays out. Is there, is there anybody who is deathly does not want to hear about it? Ah! So what what about the Spidiculous game? Annoyed you. All I know is that you try to cut the legs off, right? You try to cut the legs off, and then later on, the spider comes... You bring this this head back, like, as a ball. As a reward, right? Hey, I think I'm finally done. I think I'm finally done. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rinse this out. How do you... Do you not like how you have to basically hunt two? Oh, you have to hunt two? You can only bring it back as a ball if you knock off all the legs. Oh, the fight is fine. It's just that you are forced to deal with it every few years. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. I don't really like any of those fights where you have to m deal with it multiple times. And because then I feel like you don't like I don't like not having a choice of my quarries. I don't because some of those quarries are really annoying. And like you said, they kick your buddy, the kick your booty. Alright, I'm just using water to spray out the cup. And clean that out a little bit. And I've got a brush here. Hold on. I'm gonna use this one. And I like to just get in here. 
wipe up the excess pieces. Now what I'm going to do next, this is the spray through brush cleaner and what this should do, it's got a high alcohol content in it and I should be able to just get this right off the side, yep, just like that. So you have to, you have to pick up these big pieces because you don't want to blow that through your airbrush by accident. Dump this in my trash can. Put up water again. See? And as that is clearing out, it should get. See, that's still really dirty. Okay. Put these pieces out first. Team Punk, thank you for subscribing. How are you doing? Let's spray this through. Woo! I'm gonna do a little bit of the spray through cleaner. I'm gonna write your name down, 18814. Well, this is drying. Just gotta set this aside for a second. You can see some spots that need to be. This has cleaner in it. Right down into the fucking punk. Oh no, we got spray. Guys, let's get some hype for that subscription. That's six months. That's a whole half a year. We need some hype for that. That is amazing. Thank you for <laughs> putting my mask on. Thank you, pun expect. Uh, thank you, A14 punk. You got pun expected. We've got punks. We've got everything. All right. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna blast this through the airbrush. Yay! There we go. Thank you for the hype, Razar. We need some more hype than that. Okay. Oh, see, it's still dirty. It's still dirty, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out. And I think this one is dirtier because there was already kind of that dry paint and now it's finally starting to come out. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. Put some more cleaner in there. Okay, let's try this. Blow this all the way through. Dirty though. I need to take my glasses off for a second. Maybe there is a little bit of schmutz in there. Keep up with that. Okay. That's good enough. We're going to use gray primer next. And the, the spider itself is going to be gray mostly. So, there's going to be a good amount of gray on this. Let me first see if I can find my gray. Hold on. This gray is the one color that I don't have a full bottle of for whatever reason I have. Here it is. I have a small bottle. And I need to buy a full... Uh, you know why I don't buy a full bottle of gray? Because you can mix it. You don't... You don't even need gray. But it's nice because it's time time saving. Okay. I'm gonna put 
put this in. Oh, do you guys see what I see? Can you see the little pieces at the bottom of this? You have to get that out. See this? This brush was completely clean just a minute ago. I don't know why. How it got so dirty. There, now it's coming clean. Maybe. Okay, good. I was worried. There we go. a little thinner. Where's my thinner? There it is. Now, last time we didn't use thinner. We don't really need thinner, but I'm going to put a little bit in just to lubricate. So that that first, first, remember that first splash? It was really chunky. I think it's because I didn't use the thinner. So spray that through. Make sure that's coming through. Now we're going to put the gray in. Alright, so let's check. Did is the raffle still going on? It is. The exclamation point raffle if you want to enter. Put a little bit half. I put halfway through. Okay. Now I'm going to spray. What I want is a soft. See, that's, that's all the thinner coming out. There we go. Now there's color. I want a soft like this. See? That's nice. Spider. I'm moving all this stuff away. We don't need all this stuff. It's for air brushing. Okay. Little spiderkins. Pick out the wet palette. Ooh, okay. Alright, are we ready? We're, I think we're ready. Okay. I've got the spider facing me. Let's go ahead and angle the camera just a little bit better. There we go. I'm, I'm going to kind of zenithal prime it a little bit. I'm going to leave a lot of that um, black that's still on there because I want that kind of contrast, right? Can you see? You're embarrassed to admit you still haven't built your spider spiticules. I'm sitting in my pile of shame for you know what? Hold on, I gotta I gotta tell you something. Don't be ashamed. I have something even more shameful. Listen to this. I'm gonna take a So I I have a spiticule that I need to sell. Because I didn't get my I didn't get mine painted either. I ended up buying my spider, my spiticules. I bought a commission from a client who was selling my paint job. Is that is that bad? That's so bad. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody was selling. It was a client that I had painted the spiticules for. They were selling it, and I was like, I want first dibs, and I bought my own paint job back from them because I was too lazy to paint my own. So if you have the need for a unpainted spiticules in the box, let me know because I'm selling my other one. <laughs> uh, it makes you feel better, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes you feel a lot better. <laughs> it's just a very daunting model. And I didn't, I just never felt motivated. But, you know, it's different when you're being paid to do it. And it was like, it was worth it to me to buy back my old paint job and to paint my own. <laughs> Unexpected. It's like suddenly my pile of shame feels less shameful. 
yelp i just yelp now that's forever like on the internet now too <laughs> the one that i i have two i have the one that i bought for myself that i painted and then i have one that's unpainted so the one that's unpainted is for sale it's just the yeah <laughs> Oh, I can't make out my words. Can you hear me okay, Bill? Bill? There we go. I apologize. You can't hear me well. We're gonna, we're gonna finish. Oh! There we go. I'm just doing like a light dusting because I don't want to get rid of all the black. Hopefully I'll get to paint more now. This is why I'm one of your favorites. Why? Why? <laughs> because I admit to silly stuff like that. <laughs> I have never admitted to being perfect. That's why Bane cosplay does your voice. <laughs> And you probably now have it painted better than- Yes, exactly. Exactly. I paint it better for other people than I do for myself, which is why it was worth it to me to, uh, to have- to just buy it. <laughs> You're so honest and candid. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Oh, now my nose is just through my mask. Oh. Alright, all that black I'm leaving on there. I'm leaving all that black. Because I wanna I want I wanna have that the definition. So he's looking good. I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the light in just a minute. There we go. There's another foot. Okay, that is looking Good. I'm just checking all the little knees. Making sure the feet are covered. Okay. And it's okay if I don't get this part perfectly primed. We're gonna end up painting more on it later. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna set that aside, let that dry for a second. Where can I put that? Put that down. Oops, I don't want that to fall. Give me one second while I set this somewhere where it doesn't fall. Okay. I'm gonna get these little boogers. I'm just gonna give them a quick spray so that they're all even. See this, this is why I love, look at the, okay, not to rag on your, on your priming, but it's a lot more speckly than my Steino Res, which is why I love Steino Res so much. There's cat hair. A little bit of cat hair. Oh, I see. This is where the legs are supposed to go into the body, and it didn't quite, they don't quite fit in there. That's the thing about these models. They don't, they don't all fit together perfect, do they? Alright, this is like last spray. Alright. Oh, I love it. That is nice. Making sure these are good. Okay. Little, little spider bugs. Those are creep, creepy and gross. They look like little tits. 
Steiner Res is great unless the bottle gets frozen. That is true. Steiner Res is great unless the bottle gets frozen. Don't don't purchase Steiner Res in the winter. Pretty much, it's just it's not it's not worth the risk. Try to get enough get some get some in August and make it in uh, October if you have to. Alright, I'm pouring the rest of my gray back in here. Jinx, how are you? I am going to use a bigger brush to scrub. This just has water in it, so I'm just gonna be careful. How are you doing, Jinx? The bottle that you got at Adepticon swag bag turned out to be total goo. Oh no, that's no good. This is more of my. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff so much. Look at how chunky it is. Can you see that? Interesting. Drop it. Probably all of the chunks that I got off the thing. Alright, I think I can blow this through into my dump pot here. You beautiful human. <laughs> you just hate cleaning styro rods out. This is the styro rods, like the airbrush cleaner from Badger, and I freaking love it. If you're gonna use any kind of Badger product, get that, because it's it's probably the best stuff I've ever used. It really does clean things out. You don't have to take apart your airbrush all the time. Look at that. It's just working. This is another little. Buy it like it's going out of style. But I do a lot more airbrushing nowadays because of this cleaner. Before, I used to get, I would be like, oh, I'm so over it. I don't like cleaning the airbrush either. I really don't. But after I got this stuff, it makes it easy. It makes it easy. Spray through airbrush cleaner. Look! Okay, let's let's do a little test. I'll set this right here. Okay. Wait. I gotta blow it through one more time. Alright, if it comes through clear, we know it's clean. Have you ever tried the synthetics brushes sold on Creature? Yes, I have. I have I have a bunch of the synthetics from Creature Caster. Like these, this bomb wicks. And I really like them. I use them more for, like, like I use them as junk brushes. Like, I don't seriously paint with them. I use them to clean out my airbrush. I use them to um, dry brush. I use them to do terrain, anything that has, like, a really rough texture. Oops, and there's still color. There's still color. Just a little bit. I keep trying to blow this out. So, I do like them though. I really, we're going to be giving away some of the igniter ones. Those are the slightly higher end ones. That's these. We're going to be giving away those in August. Right? That'll be a subscriber giveaway. And I really do like those. I've also been using Game Envy. And um, I think they're about the same. Quality wise, the, the, the bomb wicks are slightly less expensive than the game envy. Uh oh, see, there's still color because I cleaned it out. Let's do this one more time. Can we get, see, now it's clean. There we go. Use isopropyl in the cup, and you don't suggest spraying any liquid through until all the primer is out of the cup. Until all the primer is out. 
This is but this is spray through cleaner. It's meant to be it's meant to be sprayed all the way through. That's how that's how it works. It's called spray through. Alright. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready for some painting. We we got there. What time is it? It's 4 30. <laughs> we get about a half an hour of painting left. Hold on. You can hear me better now. Sorry about that. I was just commenting about the marks on my face. Everybody take a stretch break. I know we've all been sitting here. Look at these face marks. <laughs> it's like I have a, it's like I've been in a sword fight and I have a scar. Don't mess with me. Ailey says, I do not want to use sable hair and looking for good synthetic ones. I get you. I get you. So try the, try the, try the bomb wicks. What else? Um, I'm trying to think who else has sable that are decent. I mean, if, if, if it were me, because I'm, I'm perfect, I'm doing this at a, all the time, right? Synthetics wear out very quickly because they're synthetic and so for me because of it's a business for me I don't want to be buying my brushes all the time Because that eats into my bottom line. So what I would do is I would actually buy Those big bags of craft brushes James Wapple actually is a big fan of those and taught me to do that The thing is those craft brushes are great. They'll have just as much um life as a little bit more expensive synthetic brush but that you can get a whole bag for like five dollars right and so if you're gonna use a synthetic brush I recommend just getting a bunch of really cheap ones and as long as the point is sharp it doesn't so much matter what size it is right if you have a the duelist yeah am I secretly a Nigo Montoya yeah killed my father prepared to die Windsor and Newtman Cotman's I'll tell you what though these are the same as Cotman's this is the uh, this is the bomb wicks they're the same as they even have the blue handle do I have a Cotman in here I think I do this is a Cotman haha <laughs> this is a Cotman this is a bomb wick it's almost the exact same blue just get these they're gonna be cheaper than Cotman but if you can't find Cotman, these are good too. Or sorry, if you can't find, I don't know what, I, you can get the, the bomb wicks online. So they're really pretty easy. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to our little spider. I want to make the back of this cute. Like the, where's my picture? The others are broken, yeah. Do I know any good hybrid brushes? I do not, Joris. Um, I generally don't, I generally don't try to recommend brushes to people. And the reason being is I feel like brushes are really personal. Like, like uh, Ailey said, some people don't want to use natural hair brushes because of ethical reasons or because of sustainability or whatever reason. Maybe they are allergic. I don't know, but, um, Everybody has their different reasons for using different brushes and that's why I don't like to recommend brushes. I know I am very picky about brushes, but at the same time, I'll buy a giant bag of synthetics as well because it saves me money. One thing about me is I do not like to spend money on brushes because I am very, very hard on them. Not everybody else is as hard on brushes as I am, so they don't have the need to, to try to look for inexpensive brushes that can spend a little bit more and and be fine right uh, creature caster has a good line of synthetics that's what we were talking about uh, if you're in the US oh, I don't recommend that store mystical unicorn painting they have a lot of um, it's not a store I'll ever recommend in fact I'm not even gonna say their name <laughs> Um, Michaels. Go to Michaels if you're gonna get some cheap hobby brushes. Uh, Dick Blick is online. You can get lots of stuff from them as well. 
most of everything is also available on Amazon. You know? Cheap synthetics are great for base coats and simple layering. <gasps> you can no longer enter the raffle! You know what that's time? Yep, I don't shop there. You're in Canada, so you have Michaels. Perfect. Good. Okay, it's time for raffle, guys. Yeah, and Dick Blick, I believe, will ship to Canada. I think they ship worldwide. They're a really big art store, and they have a lot of things. Lots of things. Yeah, I feel the same way. I feel the same way, Lumunus. All right, let's go back to the raffle, because that is raffle time, and a bunch of you guys entered it. It's, it is time to pick a winner. All right, giveaways. Here we go. All right, let's see how many people. We only had 19 people enter. 19, sorry, 11 people entered. 19 tickets. So the odds of winning this t-shirt are very high. You must be present to win. I'm going to pick a winner. I'm going to pick a winner right now. You will never know. You will never know. Send me your info. Actually, I think I have your info, but send me if your t-shirt size is anything other than extra large. Hehe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you... Yeah, send me your t-shirt size. You'll never know. Because if you don't wear extra large, I will find out what your... I'll send you another copy. Right? I'll get you another size. <laughs> what will I never know? <laughs> yeah. Yay! Hypes! That was fun. Alright, I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. T-shirt. Yeah, just contact me on Facebook. I think you already have my Facebook. If you don't, contact me through Twitch. <clears throat> Send me a t-shirt size. Yeah, congrats. Good way to get into the weekend. I'll message you. Awesome. Okay. Never know. And I don't, I don't think you've won anything before. Or you've won maybe like a little mini before, right? I don't, I don't know if you've won anything before. All right, let's switch back to Spider. Okay, let's go to editor. There we go. All right. Now we have about 20 minutes before we're gonna do whip trips. Guys, do exclamation point whip trip to be able to put your models into the, it doesn't have to be models, it can be anything. It could be, um, actually, it could be your the pie, like Ravage made, or was it Ravage or Rumble? Rumble's wife made some, some really nice sweets and he posted those. Somebody made some bread once, Focaccia. Cats, yes, I want cat pictures. I will post pictures of Bear. I'll show you Bear. I'll post pictures of Bear right now, just so that we have him on, on the file. Do do do. Fight Club. Nope. Okay, there we go. It is. Bear with me. Hang on, hang on. There we go. No, no, let's go live. Rainer made his own live gallery. Err. That makes sense, though makes sense okay today is oh that's so cool rubbish booty there we go okay oh rubbish it's looking great okay sorry i'm getting overexcited i'm gonna post a couple pictures of bear so that i don't oh he's such a baby okay those are good Bear went to the vet yesterday. He had a dental. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> you see the bot message? Good. Perfect. Yep. In live image galleries. I'm going to get rid of these two bottles here. Water. And a wet palette. Which I was wondering when I was going to get a chance to use this. And here's the spider we're going to work on. Let's see here. Let's get the pictures. This is what I like. So I think what we'll do, we have, 
we'll start out with the lightest layer on the bottom and then we'll put the blues and stuff over it I think I think we'll do that okay so I've got my little image here do 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 I'll put this up here so I can see that ah. let's use this brown oh no let's use this brown the song of my people <laughs> yes it is the song of my people spider that's right we're gonna get a little bit of this burnt sienna so a friend of ours or a client of ours wanted us to do the song of the people spider on on her model which is perfect it's so cute I'm gonna use this little blunted dry brush this is a dry brush from a medium dry brush from Citadel but I'm hoping that we can make it look like hair if we if we take most of the paint out of it. That's my hope. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna make make our kind of oval shape. That's perfect. See, now it's time to lower the camera and lower the light. The gray isn't the best for the light color, but it will work. You know, it's funny is this is one of the new songs and I barely remember it. It's so funny how that works. I'm going to try to fill that gap with some paint. Oh, this is the other metal song that I had him do. I remember now. It's such a chill metal song that that's why I don't remember it as well. Now this client did pay for the speed painted version, so it's going to be a little bit less on the detailed side. But we're going to we're going to do what I call like maximizing. So when when I do a speed painted model, you get a high quality, but it's like it's not high quality everywhere, right? We're going to put the best part of the paint job in the most important spots. So you're going to have like the face as the focal point and the rest won't be quite as detailed. My airbrush is still on. Let me turn that off. There we go. Alright, this is my second second coat there we go fill in the little crevices how or it really is very organic like you can kind of tell that the spider is not it's not like even on both sides which I like that whoever sculpted it it's purposefully asymmetrical and that's good all right so the next set of colors is gonna be this ah! oh I just dropped all my paper clips the next set of colors is this brown 
which let's see I'm gonna take this color right here I'm gonna flip this upside down for myself there we go okay and I'm scumbling this on oh it's too light it's too light it's not dry Okay, I'm just gonna kind of dry brush it over the yellow there. It's hard to see because it's so big and awkward. I'm gonna take this yellow back again. And I'm tapping this and this is called stippling I'm stippling on the paint so that I'm kind of blending it although I need some more solid there we go yeah that's better Ooh, I probably should just go down the middle and there we go Unexpected. Did you get to see the Z Frank video? We were talking about that earlier. All right, I'm gonna use just a little bit of this yellow down here. Z Frank, he's a YouTuber and he does these hilarious uh, animal, like almost like a Wild America kind of, you know, narrative videos of animals that are, and it's just so funny. If you get a chance, go on go on YouTube and check them out. You won't you will you will laugh. You will laugh. I think his most latest one was what was it? Was it shrimp? No, it was some other kind of fish. I don't remember. Yeah. All right, that needs to dry for a minute and I'm going to go let's see. He only know. He only know. Ah! Krawala, continuing the sub gift from an anonymous gifter. Aw, oh, thank you, Krawala. Thank you so much for continuing your sub. That is awesome. Somebody anonymously gifted Krawala a sub last month, and they decided to continue it. So let's give some hype, because that's really cool. When uh, when the love keeps coming. Let's write down your name too. Now, also, this month that you're eligible for the follow, uh, the subscriber giveaway, we're giving away and a model from Poland. It's uh, we've been talking about this. Should I should I show you guys again? You want to see the dragon again? Let me see some sub emotes if you want to see it. Ah, <laughs> a lot of people are hyping. Good. Let's write down Krawala seventy four. There we go. My pen has got an airbrush spray on it now. A dragon. Okay, let's let's show you the dragon. Can I put it back over there? I'll be right back. I gotta go get it. Here it is. So this is our subscriber giveaway. We're gonna be giving this away on the 15th of this month. I'll be able to ship this worldwide because we've already got the donations for it. Look at this. So this is how the artwork looks Garagoth animated beast from the far east mount of Kadros Lord of Fury and this is from um, Orzal Orzal studio O-R-Z-O-L and let's show you how this looks here yeah this is our giveaway for our subscribers and it's, it's a really nice kit comes with this little rider. Here, I'm going to show this to you on screen. So here's the rider. Kadros, Lord of Fury. He's not He's not big. He's a little bitty. I'm going to show you how big he is compared to a... Um, how big he is compared to a space marine. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
a very good box. So there's the body, and there's a space marine. Okay, why is the lighting so terrible right now? There we go. And so, he's got, there's his head and his arms. That's good. Okay, let's put that back. has no sound again. There we go. Is that better? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, let's show you the dragon. This is the body. And you can see how big that is compared to the space rain. He's not crazy big, but he's also cool and he's big enough that it would look really awesome on your desk. Where's the head? Here's the head. So here's the head. Oh yeah, that goes right here, like this. He will require a, some assembly, <laughs> but he's very nice. And the box is pretty light, so it won't be super difficult to ship anywhere. It comes with a little base already, so it's ready to go. There's Orzol Studios. Can you see the company, Orzol Studios? So. All he needs is like a little plinth and for you to paint him but like I said he's not so big that he won't be too big to paint let me put this back in here I'll show this off one more time hi Bolos this is our giveaway for August no no, no. this month on the 15th we're gonna give this away July 15th this is our July giveaway and it's from as our sponsored it's sponsored by Orzol Studio they sent these out to me and we've already given away some of their models I know Car Carlos Garcia Carlos AF Garcia and Acutera I think that's how I say it both won the other day a couple models so that's gonna be given away on the 15th which is, is that next week let me check Two weeks, little little less than two weeks. It's the middle of the month. Can you believe how fast this month has gone already? It's crazy. Yeah, the packaging is great. Everything, and the model is really nice too. Don't get me wrong. I gotta put this back. Packaging is even better when it has all the packaging. Oh, you wanna see the geckos? Sure. Outside is it I'll see all sides Do you want to see them? I think we can see both of them today. You might be able to see both the geckos Hold on a second. I will get them out because things are different. We've got a new setup Hold on a second I, think I can take off my gloves they're... Yeah, the geckos are very sensitive senses of smell. They're gonna be able to smell my hands Okay Bear with me, my mic might just call me I, okay, I, or Al, Al, just call me Al, okay. Let's see if they're in the tubes, okay, are they both in the tubes? No, just Ginger Biscuit. Can I pick this up? This is funny. So Biscuit is in the tube. That's, that's all you get to see of it, Ginger Biscuit. <laughs> She's in a tube. So she's going to stay in the tube because getting her out is a really a big pain. But I can get peppercorn. Yes. Peppercorn is not as, not as friendly as Ginger Biscuit. But I got her out. Come here, peppercorn. Here she is. This is peppercorn, and she's brown. She's a what they call a normal type, or a wild type. Yay! Hold on a second. Here we go. Zombie toast! Look, we got peppercorn out. No problem, Al. The tail. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Hold on, let me show you. 
her face. She never wants to look at you. She never wants to see your face. Let's see if I can do the light a little bit better over here. You're looking at me, Peppercorn. Why are you looking at me? It's always, it's always the back. I always want to see the back. There we go. You gonna do a blip? There's a little blip. Blip, blip. Yay! And look, her skin is nice and moist right now because I got the tank all fixed up now. The tank is all ready for, for geckos. They like the humidity much more. I'm gonna come over here. Good, walk onto my hand. Yeah. Now, <laughs> she's she's in a pretty good mood today. Yeah, bloop, bloop. She's in a pretty good mood because she doesn't need to shed. I'm watching her so she doesn't fall off my hand. Oh, look at that face. Such a cutie. She's being really cute. I'm gonna walk on the other side of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody here have geckos? Or anybody here keep uh, reptiles at all? Okay, I'm gonna put her back. She's gonna go back into her little hide. always have trouble with my mic cordage. There we go. That's better. All right, you go back in there. I feel so much better about my tank because the plants were kept dying and I couldn't figure out why. And I figured out, I think they were dying because I was watering them and they didn't have a drainage layer. Unexpected used to have a gecko, but then you switched to progressive. <laughs> uh, you want to you you think you'd want a pet that would be more affectionate. I can understand that. They're they're not affectionate, but they are very sweet. I never expected uh, reptiles to be sweet, and they actually. If you want an affectionate reptile, like a tegu, or a I guess a tegu can be really affectionate. It's funny. They're very intelligent. <laughs> Tar Tarragon said, I used to have leopard geckos. Sadly, the girl died because she tried to swallow crickets sideways. Oh, no. Yeah. I've, I've, I've been thinking about getting a leopard gecko because these are very similar. They just require a lot more humidity. They're actually harder, a little bit harder than a leopard gecko because of the humidity requirements. Um, but they're, they're distant cousins of leopard geckos, so get an anaconda they're very affectionate no i don't i'm i'm i i really do like snakes but i would never want to own a snake because i don't like feeding i don't like feeding snakes do you know because they usually have to eat live food and the geckos have to eat live food too but it's like bugs right it's completely different oh bolos bolos has ants he has he has ant collections and he says, uh, every time you clean them, your hands are covered in bites. Yeah, they're, they're protecting their territory. Basically, they look the same, just the color scheme is different. I think the face, the eyes are different, too. You're trying to be the opposite of serious, I know. <laughs> Alright, are we ready to do whip trips, guys? It's that time. We didn't get much done on the spider, but... You know, that happens and we're going to, but we're going to do, we're going to do our whip trip gallery and s let's take a look and see what everybody's been working on. Bear with me a second here. Okay. So exclamation point whip trips to everybody who is in chat right now. So if you don't already have stuff in, in there. All right, hold on a second here. Live image gallery, there we go. 
Oh, we got so many cool things. We got a studio picture too. I want to see pictures of your studios. What? Show me what your workspaces look like. If you don't have a picture of models, show me what your workspace looks like. If you don't have pictures of your bakery goods, show me what your cats look like or your or your dogs or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything that uh. It doesn't have to be just models. All right, Mystical Unicorn is up first. Oh my gosh, you got that awesome model. Let's open that. Open link. All right, this is going to take me a second to pull these all up. Rubbish booty. Okay, hold on here. And then Raoni. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And then Amberdin. Amberdin, that's coming along so nice. I remember when we first we first started him. There we go. Please let me know in the chat if you want any comments or criticism. If you just want me to, you know, kind of chat about it, that's totally fine. I can you can just do show and tell. But if you actually want any advice, let me know in in chat, okay? Just say C and C, okay, and that I will let you know. All right, I'm opening just a couple more, and then we're gonna start. Just give me one second here. Okay, we're ready to start. There's a lot of a lot of things. Okay, take a look at this. This is mystical unicorn. Okay. Good, 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 good. You don't want to see my workspace. It looks like a bomb went off. That's how mine looks. That's okay. I understand. You, I'm having my daughter come over this weekend, and she's going to wear a mask in the house, and we're going to go through the house again and try to clean it up. Okay. Whip trips. Where am I doing? There we go. Okay. Look at this gorgeous, look at this airbrush work really nice and I've seen this model this is from Chimera do you remember where you got this it's this is mystical unicorn I believe this is a fairy from Chimera and I believe I can't remember who I saw paint this the box art maybe Sergio Calvo Rubio it's the fairy yeah that's the fairy one yep yeah I think oh, you think it's a Radia yeah, that's possible. Aradia Miniatures. Yeah, I think you're right. This is beautiful. Really, really nice. So if you don't know already, guys, there's a fairy that goes on top of this that's just so cute and beautiful. And this is a pretty big model. You can see the hand. is It's, it's about as big as a person's hand. Very, very nice. Smooth. Okay. And then Rubbish Booty is next. Oh, very nice blends on the hair. Love it. So he says, worked in her hair. This bust is from Pedro Fernandez, and it's called Good Morning Estrella. Aw, okay, that's awesome. Let me know, Rubbish, if you want any CNC or if you're just wanting to show and tell. That looks really good. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna look at chat real quick. Yeah, that's it. Aradia Miniatures paint is uh is the one. Yep, fairy limited edition. Stefano Moroni, sculpted by Farad Nojumi and box art by Sergio Sergio Calvo Rubio. And I love it how he makes that flower look so real. And that's going to be gorgeous because you've already got such a great start. Oops, let's go back up here. Such a great start on that model. It's a Radia. It's being done up for Christmas for my mother-in-law. Wow, you know Mystical, mystical she is going to love that. She is going to really love it. What a beautiful present. All right. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's see, what else was Rubbish have? Is this is the last picture of Rubbish's. Yep, okay, so this is Raoni. 
Caraoni Arts, and this is for Zarbiar. He's the sculptor. He's so good. Just that is the detail face of this model. That is so tiny. And look at how detailed the face is. He's got teeth. Is that it? Is that all we have? Yeah. Well, those are beautiful. I really love it. There's the other picture. I was looking for that. Very nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do, Razar. Very nice. This is Amberden. Amberden, are you still working on this? Do you want any CNC? And tell us a, a little bit more about this model. This is the birthday, um, what's his name? Oh, hold on, let me look at your thing here. It doesn't say, oh, he says Grom Brindall. Not sure if I should do anything more or just quit messing with them while I'm ahead. So let's take a look. Grom Brindall is from Citadel. And he, so first of all, this I found this to be a difficult model. I've painted him before and I found it difficult because the resin is not the greatest and it's kind of soft. Um, and some of the, some of the, you know, molds and the, or not the molds, but the volumes are a little bit awkward, especially when you, like I painted them all together, just like you did. And it, it makes it, it makes it a little bit more difficult than if you sub assemble it. So let's look at the front. Is there a front? Okay. Yeah. So I would take, um, a liner, like, uh, like a blue liner. If you have a liner uh, color and you can usually just use a little mixing medium or some kind of maybe even a little tiny bit of la uh, lama lamia medium or some kind of medium and mix a little bit of dark dark blue with it super dark blue and go ahead and panel line his all of his armor panel line everything and I think it will pop so much better and then when you get done with that figure out if you want to do that to the rest you know because I feel like uh, just a little dark line under you know in shadows on him is going to make him stand out a lot better and then like I said the rest of the the stuff you might want to do some panel lining on the bottom of things to separate separate out each each part That's a, usually an easy way to, to yeah, it's magnet. It's, oh, that's so great. <laughs> Lamuna spent two hours painting a chair. But yeah, I think this is a, a really, you got a lot done. And I think it looks, the other thing I would do just um, is go back over all the spots that are supposed to be black, like on the edges over here, black off all of that maybe use a satin black and so that it's just clean up clean up all these edges right here and just make that look a lot more posh you know yeah okay and this oh my gosh this is gorgeous Oh, hold on, I need to look at this close. What? So gorgeous. That is already really beautiful. This is a judgment model. I don't know the name of her, but she is a female Minotaur model from Judgment. And this pastel look on her is beautiful. Let's see, this is pun expected, Gendrus. Her name is Gendrus. Pun expected, do you want to talk about how you got this beautiful pastel pink um, and highlighted this without the chalkiness? I would love to hear what you did for the shadows and for the highlights and everything. It's just buttery. It's really nice. Amberton painted, he did paint in sub assemblies, but the resin, yeah, the resin is not good on that model. Mold lines, gates everywhere, and mold slip. I know I had the same problem. I agree. 
Yeah, so, you know, maybe set it aside and um, and work on something else then, maybe. Ponexpecta says, I, I mix into colors when I blend them. So you're wet blending. That makes a lot of sense. That's cool. Did you mix your shadow and your highlight separately? Or did you just mix a little white with your with your shadow color to get that? It sounds like that's what he did. He mixed in some lighter color to get that soft pink. Wet blending is really, really nice, especially for, a, this is not a small model. Let's do this, wait, there we go. Th yeah, this model is like, I don't know, it's like 75 millimeter. I can't remember if it's that small or big. It's, it's, it's a decent size. You can see his paint, paint holder there, his, or his mini holder there. That's usually about two or three inches. And so the model itself is about twice that with her staff. Pun says three colors and then I blended them over and over again. That's really good. You did an amazing job. I love it. Oh, using a mix of drying retarder and matte medium. Oh, how cool is that? So mediums are often a very good trick to, to the chalkiness. Okay, next. Oh, is this more of Amberton stuff? This is more of Amberton stuff. Wait, did I get past that? Yeah, there we go. All right, so this is Inky John, right? Did I get Inky John? Sci-fi Egyptian wizard by, is it Seabor? Skybor? Skybor. I can't, I can't remember how to pronounce this. It's Polish, so I think it's Skybor. Anyway, this is beautiful. The colors of that turquoise with that reddish reddish color it's like a, almost a reddish orange that really looks great and it does have that Egyptian look at that you've nailed those eyes good job on that do you want any criticism or comment look at the scarabs I just noticed those those are so cool what a detailed mini Wow let us know if you want any um, comments or criticisms Let's look at the rest. Oh, very cool. We love it. Let's get close up again. Yeah, you did a really good job on the eyes. Very nice. I really do like that turquoise color. It's going to pop. Those two colors together really pop on the table. Okay. So that is all of the first ones. Let's see. So, okay. So you did want some uh, comments and criticisms. Let's go back and look at it again. Um, okay. So just on his face, he, he seems to have about two layers of values on his face. So if you were to take a photo of this and then put it through a black and white filter, um, you wouldn't see a lot of color differences. So I would take one more lighter color like whatever you use for the tip of his nose and mix a tiny tiny bit of yellow or a lighter flesh tone color or whatever tiny bit of off-white and just go on the very tip of his nose and the very like highlights of his cheekbones chin just to get little ding highlights because that way he'll just pop a little bit more and you'll be your eyes will be drawn to his face other than that i mean i really unless you i mean i really wouldn't mess with it other than to also maybe take some ivory and maybe do a little dry brushing on this rock just a little bit maybe just a little bit because i think i love those colors and i wouldn't mess with those too much what do you think about that? Oh, and Pun Expected was saying about his model. I'm going to go back to that real quick. Let's go back to Pun Expected since he's told us how to do it. Whoops. Where'd it go? Did I close it? I think I closed it. Inky John, Inky John. 
think I did. Yeah, I did. Darn it. Anyway, um, I'll tell you what he says. Hold on. There we go. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> There's a little delay. Okay, I think I got it to stay this time. Pun expected says he mixed a dropper bottle with about 90% matte medium and 10% drying retarder. He'll put one or two drops of it into the paint that he used, and it just seems to keep the paints workable long enough to blend on the model. First time trying it out. Now, did you use matte paints to start it with, or was it were they satin paints? Were they GW paints? What kind of paints are you using to mix that with? Like, are they flat? to start with. That's what I'm curious about. I'm really interested in Pun Expected's process because I really like, it's hard to get a nice blend on a pastel. Inky John says, sure, the photo does make it seem a lot flatter than it actually is, but I agree with the flesh. Yeah, and I really don't see a lot of other things that I would mess with on that model, Inky John. I think that you, you've got a really nice model. Scale Fantasy and Nocturna. The scale fantasy is satin, but the nocturna might be flat, maybe. Either way, choosing to use that matte medium to kind of even out everything is a good, a good choice. All right, let's close down those other tabs and then we're gonna open up some more. We've got some more to show you guys. Bear with me. Okay. Let's see, we've got Amberton's desk. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is awesome. Don't worry, Amberton, your desk is not any worse than mine. Not at all. Got pictures of bear. Here we go, we got a dragon. That is from Bill Robertson. Oh, that is, you've worked so hard on that. That is amazing. Bill, do you feel like you leveled up on this dragon? Because I feel like maybe you did. I feel like I see a level up on this. <gasps> Mystical Unicorns Kitties. Jinkmeister. Awesome. Good. We got a little slice of sandwich there. All right. Let's see. Okay. These are very cool models. You guys got a lot of good stuff today. Okay, let's show this. This is Amberton's desk. Oh, Bill Robertson says, I'd like CNC, please. I ran into a deadline with him, but one area that I know I still need to work on is neatness. I think another issue as I see is I didn't really get any value difference on the belly scales. I was trying for to go for heat. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, let's look at it. Let's go see the dragon. Hold on. Well, first we're going to see... Let me scroll back up. Amberton's desk. This is Amberton's desk. Hold on. Let me switch to whip trips. All right. He says, total desk chaos. P.S. It got worse since this photo <laughs> a couple of days ago. Oh, wow. He has the same... That's the same lamp that I have. And I think if you go down into my profile down below, I have the lamp in my profile. Um, and if you are in Europe and you want a, a European link, let me know and I can send it to you. Just just message me. But yeah, um, let's take a look. Let's see. Okay, so you've got you got the scale seventy five paints. You got some cool. What are those paints in the back, Amberton? The ones in the unusual bottles back there. They look like enamels, maybe. He's got some Dark Star and some Vallejo. You got a nice selection. Nice selection. Big, big giant Redgrass Games palette. And a big night. Oh, I really like, I'm really jealous of this uh, <laughs> lens that you have. I need something like that. My eyes are starting to go. Yeah, the love lamp. This is the same lamp I have. That one on the left that he has, I have that as well. That's what I'm always using. 
newly joy newly just is that how I say it is it wait is it newly newly ogis newly ogis the very first stream I'm watching on Twitch ah uh, hello welcome we're just we're in the middle right now of doing what we call whip trip Friday on Fridays we post stuff in the gallery and then we look at what other people who watch our stream uh, are painting and it's really fun but anyway welcome new Leogis new Leogis I think that I'm saying that right tell me if I'm wrong oh we just had a, an anonymous gifter gave new Leogis a sub that is awesome guys give some hype you just got to use all my emotes now, Nulio. Just you can, if you go down to emotes, you can click on in the chat. There's a little smiley face, and click on that, and you get to see all the emotes that go with my channel. That goes to my subscribers. Yep, just like that. There they are, <laughs> the Sheshi bot. Yay! That's so sweet. And thank you, anonymous sub giver. That is really great, and it's a great way to build community here on the channel as well we like to really welcome people like that that's awesome so your first time watching twitch first sub and you're getting a really warm welcome that's really great okay bill robertson you'll catch the dragon on the scene okay i will make sure to give that right now all right i'm sorry that you have to go i've been ch i've been chatting too much <laughs> okay a little quick we're gonna go to Bill Robertson hold on I gotta switch screens here all right we're gonna switch over this one this is oh that's sorry we're gonna talk about bear first so this is my cat bear and he just had a dental cleaning he's 10 years old and he is only he's not had too many dental cleanings in his lifetime so I was worried that he would have bad teeth because he hasn't I don't brush his teeth or anything I'm, I'm very bad about that um, but luckily he only had one bad tooth so they took out his bad tooth it was way at the back and he was a little bit drugged up yesterday a little bit drugged up right here <laughs> and his, uh, his bandage you can see from the catheter luckily he got that off this morning anyway he's all good today but he's my baby that's bear so this is the dragon from Bill Robertson and like I said before I really feel like he's got to level up from the last time I've seen him paint and this looks really nice he said that he didn't feel like he got a high enough level of differentiation on the belly scale so we're gonna look at that in a second here there oh okay I see wait I can't quite see the belly scales let's see yeah right here okay so the, I guess the only thing that I would do then is go in with the purple and kind of under you know dark line each one of those scales because that's going to contrast with that yellow and that red that's in there but it's also um purple and red are next to each other on the color wheel so they're gonna go well together um i would use purple as a shadow color on a lot of these things in his mouth and stuff as well let's see got that brown already in there so you could also use that yeah you could always use that as well that looks nice this looks like it looks like you already used purple in the tail a little bit so that's why I think it would it would look good the only other thing I would do is on his face start lightening up the teeth and the face so that way your eye starts getting drawn to it right now my eyes are drawn to the tip of his wings these claws because they're so white right I would be more likely to yellow those and then whiten his teeth and the scales around his head a little bit to bring your eye back up there so other than that I really do think this is a big improvement from your last model that I remember seeing your Myrmidon so good job on that this is, oh these are the cats of mystical unicorn what are their names hold on I'm gonna go see I love cats Dresden is the black and white and Ariana is the silver oh my gosh 
Let me look at this again. Such a cutie. Is Ariana a, just a tiny bit chunky? Just a tiny bit. And look at there's a fish toy. They have a fish toy right there. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Let me check chat. Zombie Toast is like, oh, meow. Yep. Love dragons. Love job. Recently finished a zombie dragon from Creature Caster. Awesome. You're going to have to post that next time, Mystical Unicorn. They actually both weigh roughly the same. About a pound difference. That's cool. Hey, real brush guy. How are you? Do you have anything to show us in the whip trips? Because we're doing whip trip Friday right now. Just a quick hello before you go to sleep. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. <laughs> sleep good. We're going to go next to Jinkmeister, who is doing a little bit of train. Let's see. Hold on here. This is Jinkmeister. Oh, okay. So we've got some... some uh, I can't remember what kind of marines these are called. I was going to say that they were space wolves, but I don't think they are because of this shoulder is a little different and then we have a sandwich we have all the goodies yummy and then we have some train right here that looks awesome painting and eating and gaming oh wow that's very cool this is your workspace I love it sorry I don't mean excited I like seeing people's workspaces very nice. It says working on a Sector Imperialis. That was what he's working on. So let's go back and look at that. Sector Imperialis. Very cool. Thank you for posting that. Now let's see. Is that all we have? Nope, we got more. Now this is by Bill Robertson. Next up, the Death Elemental, going to airbrush some thinned white ink over the spirits to make them feel more subs insubstantial. Thinking about washing them in purple to darken their lower areas. Not really sure if I should, though. Yeah, I think that would look cool. I really like that idea. This is really cool. It's almost like a Kingdom Death kind of style mini. But I can tell it's GW, right? Very good. This is the same picture. All right, hold on a second here. I need to screen share. Oops, I thought it was I thought it was scared. There we go. Now you can't see the photos. Okay, is this better? <laughs> you got to see my reaction to his picture. <laughs> yeah. So this is what he's working on. He's thinking about now. The only thing about the airbrushing, I almost would dry brush just the just the green because I feel like airbrushing would cover some of that purple you know and I think the purple looks good against that green so it would almost I wouldn't I wouldn't airbrush this I would dry brush it so that we, you could just focus where you want those insubstantial things and I think that would be on the little spirits that's just my opinion though let's see does he have another one he has one more let me open this. This is the same, it's similar, but it's just a different angle, slightly different angle. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna close those down. We've got a few more. I love the fact we have so many images this time. Let's take another look. Okay, what else do we have? We've got Ultra Squid. Very nice model. We got Bolos. Yay, I'm so glad you're back to working on stuff, Bolos. And then Terrigan. Oh, wow, that's going to be fun. Al. We've got Al. That's awesome. Lamunus. Wow, Luminous is so, that is so nice. Okay. I feel like Luminous is leveling up as well. I'm seeing, I'm seeing improvements from the last model. 
Oh, another kitty. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Okay, that's the last picture, is the kitty. Yep, okay, so here let's go ahead and show you. Who is this? Oh, we got, a, we got the screamy song again. All right, this one is Ultra Squid. Here we go, this is Ultra Squid. And this goes really well with this model, this song, the screaming, screaming rat. That's cool. It's like a were rat. I'm trying to get it to center. There we go. So this is Ultra Squid. Oh, that's great. Look at that. I like the the way you did the different shades of fur. I think that's fun. Okay, and this one is Bolos, right? Yep, this is Bolos. See his ants? He's got an ant farm back here. He gets to watch the ants while he's um while he's working. That's so great. Don't spill those. Very nice workstation. And this is his project that he's working on. It looks like a mech of some kind. Maybe uh looks like a Warhammer figure, like a Titan. I can't quite tell. Oh my gosh, this song is so screamy. So he says half of his work area, the other half has your spray booth. And this is a Canis Rex Titan that he's been cutting up to reposition into a pose I like. I want him to look like he's straining to move forward, pulling against the chains. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. All right, let's go look at another model here. We're almost done. This is a new project that um, Terrigan's gonna be working on. So I, want, I look forward to seeing that getting painted. And then this one is Al. Oh, that is unbelievable. It's uh, one of those, um, oh, I can't remember, the D&D dogs. Right? This is Lamunus. Wow, Lamunus. I don't know if I can show those those breasts online or not. Let's flip through this so that we don't get in trouble with Twitch. I like the, whatever you've done to the legs, that really looks cool. That grayness makes it help feel like an artificial leg. Yeah, I love that gray in there. That's very cool. And the leather. Yeah, I feel like you've had a level up since the last model you were working on. Ah, sorry guys, my weakness. This is uh, Terrigan Siamese Kitty Lily on the left side of the picture. Lily is a good, good baby. So cute. You wet blended the blue under the shadows. Let me look back at the at the at the model real quick. You wet blended the blue. Okay, yeah, that works really well. It really feels like an artificial leg that is trying to be like mimicking skin. And I like it. I like the tones and the textures. Let's go back to the kitty one more time. Lily. I bet she's so soft. Such a cutie. Okay. Guys, you are awesome. It is that time. I'm going to switch switch music so we can get into our other mode. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of change of gears. Yes, yeah, she's a very pretty kitty. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We had a great... I really hope that you have a great weekend. We're going to look for somebody to raid. Let's see who is available. Studio J7 is available. Nalindi, any minis? How about that? Let's do Studio J. We haven't we haven't raided him in a minute. And he looks like he's working on something cool. Alright, there we go, guys. Punch that button. Join that raid. When you get to Studio J, show all my emotes and give him all the love. He's such a great guy. Such a sweetheart. And I will see you again on Monday. And I don't know what we're going to be working on yet. We might be working on the other bus that Lamunas had me do. We're not. I'm not sure yet. 
because I'm hoping to get spidiculous done this weekend. So, all right, guys, you have a good one. We're going to go raid now, and I will see you Monday. Bye-bye.